I don't need to remind you that the fourth institutional preamble overrides any experimental clearance. We are the professionals here, after all. Besides, you would be wise to incorporate the vast experience and assistance of the Plantinary Peer Review. Don't you mean peer review? All you do is look in on me for one work unit hour, and you seem to understand the entire continuity of my production. Don't forget, when we are not peering in on you, as you say, we are contributing to other areas of your own well-being. Right, like spending three quarters of your time in the virtual baths? I need not remind you my entire existence is virtual. My entire existence is virtual. must you continue to refuse all medical enhancement? If this continues, we're going to have to sedate you and force you to get the treatment you need. You take the treatment, Chris. Looks like you could use it. Yes. Yes, I do understand that these things take time. But we don't continue to fund the Institute so you can merely experiment. I don't need to remind you that we've already produced more than 260 patented processes. And you don't seem to leave long enough to see how the real world works. We provide you with funds, and you provide us with results. Very well. Professor Shot. All right. Early as usual. Do you have a good time to study? My grades are just fine, Professor. This is where the real action is. Uh, yes. It surely is lively around here. You see? No matter how many ways we modify the resuscitation variables, the cells just don't accept the nutrients. So why is it necessary to repeat the same experiments over and over? Because each time through allows for the possibility of learning something new. this? How could anyone have missed this before? Well, what if we set up a duplicate to see if the waveforms are stable? Good thinking. Okay. Ari? Here we are, the most brilliant minds on the planet, yet it's the money people controlling our research. And in control of the government. It's the natural order of things. The most intelligent of the species are the best equipped to govern world society. It's only a matter of time before people come to see that scientific advancement and intercultural cooperation are the only currency that matters. Right now, the only currency that seems to matter is our funding. Listen, Hans, this is something big, and it's secret. So it's going to require face-to-face -face meetings, which never happen anymore. And you really think this is something of interest to the Institute? The Institute? No, to me? I don't know if I can work one more day for that suffocating diva. Constance? Yes? I was actually hoping to get a personal day while you're away. Xander, do you remember what you told me when I hired you for this job? You said it was your ambition to take responsibility for an important position where you can make a difference. Sure. So please, make a difference and take care of your personal business on your own time. You know, it's extraordinary, but I really couldn't explain it in any meaningful way. I'm really glad I can count on you. You're really the only person I trust with this. It's really two units in one. I designed it as one primary element that separates into two halves, or two terminals. It really pushes the cool factor. You're telling me that after all our efforts to gain control of telecommunications, that it's all obsolete? Hey, don't worry. We'll just hold it back for a few years. Like your energy patents? I feel like I've got to watch my back every second with you around. <laughs> We just gotta learn how to relax just a little. If 
this falls into the wrong hands before we have a chance to disseminate it widely. Well, I don't think anyone could duplicate the process on their own. Possible. Once they see all the elements, it's almost painfully simple. Maybe painfully simple to you or to some physicist in need of an eyebrow trimming, but not to me. I've dedicated the last five years of my life to the Institute. I believe in its mission, but we've never had to do anything like this. Tracy, you know I don't get out much. You're the one that knows all about marketing. But all I did was develop the casing and the power switch. All you did was put it in an application which people could actually use. They'll be too busy trying to profit to ever see its full potential. I've got a display of this device I've been telling you about. Hmm. Xander? I don't give a damn what it looks like. What does it do? Well, here it is. And? They claim it allows instantaneous transmission of virtually unlimited amounts of data. But we need to secure it independently of any existing assets. You know that our lawyers have warned us against this sort of thing. And if our shareholders find out anything about this... Since when did we do anything with our shareholders in mind? I just love her innocence. In the end, all the companies that she's offered to sell her device to are still controlled by us. So I just took a look at the meeting room. Do we have a good turnout? If you can call a school of sharks good, then yes. Am I detecting a sentimental reaction from you, Hans? Of course not. Let's just get this over. We're running out of time. No, you are running out of time. Our work is bigger than either one of us, and I am not about to risk my future on any more of your residual sympathy. You must take sympathy for intellectual caution. Perhaps you should report for another series of training modules to handle that impulsive streak of yours. Not before you spend another week in the ethics barnacle to resolve your residual critical tone. Enough. We're here. Did you really think that there was some benefit to animal experimentation? That was a long time ago. The revivication experiments were a total bust. Dr. Rexon? Yes. The meeting will begin in five minutes. Thank you. Xander? Nice to finally put a face to the voice. Tracy? Nice to finally meet you in person. I'll see you shortly. Yes. Please come with us. Certainly. Can't keep them waiting. Where are you taking her? No questions. You lucky we don't have a plan for you. Tracy, I expected this might happen. You must address the meeting for me. I don't know nearly as well as you. I, I, I freeze in front of crowds. Perfect. You've now mastered the first principle of cryonics. I can't do this. Wait. You are not making a presentation here. What do you have? Just the meeting. What? There will be no meeting today. Now what do we do? No, I'm not. No, please, no. We're only here to help. Oh, God, please, no. Your research has allowed no. us to become independent of any outside funding sources. No, no, no. to die. I'm not the least bit afraid of death. But our new world has a place for everyone, including you. What has all of this logic gotten you? Except perhaps for some kind of world domination where everyone thinks alike. You act like I've had some sort of influence over the destiny of the world. There's a natural order of things, Aerie. If you wouldn't have made your discoveries when you did, surely someone else would have. You have forgotten something on your quest to find the perfect logical world. And what would that be? Compassion. <laughs>